Hi, welcome to the Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. My lesson today is on dividing powers, which is the third in my playlist of videos on the unit of exponents and scientific notation. So thanks for joining me today, and here are our objectives. We will divide powers with the same base, we will simplify expressions involving the quotient of powers, and we will evaluate expressions. Here's the question I'd like you thinking about today as I proceed through the lesson. How can you use what you know about powers to find the quotient of powers? Here we go. Quotient of powers property, which states the power a to the m divided by the power a to the n is equivalent to the base a, and we subtract the exponents m subtract n. In words, to divide powers with the same base, subtract their exponents. With a special note, the base of a cannot be equal to zero. Because we cannot divide by zero, it would be undefined. Here's an example. 4 to the 11th divided by 4 to the 9th, we're going to subtract our exponents. So we could rewrite it to be 4 with an exponent of 11 subtract 9. 11 subtract 9 is 2 and 4 squared is 16. So let's think about why this works. If we have 4 to the 11th, that's 4, 11 fours being multiplied by itself in our numerator. Our denominator would be 9 fours. So if I simplified all of this, 4 divided by 4 is 1. Well, I have 9 fours in common. So that would be 4 divided by 4 9 times, which is 1, leaving me just two fours left in the numerator. And that's why it works, so a simpler way. Your turn to try this quotient of powers property. I would like you to simplify each of these. Go ahead and pause and come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. So we have m to the 15th over m to the 4th. We're going to subtract 15 subtract 4 is 11. Here, our base is 4.1, so 3 subtract 2 is 1, giving us 4.1. Now, it's your turn. I'd like you to put together the quotient of power property that we learned in this video and the rules we learned in our previous video about product of powers to simplify this expression. Go ahead and pause now and come back when you're ready. Welcome back. So the first thing I'm going to do is simplify my numerator. There are multiple ways to evaluate this expression correctly, but that's what I'm going to do. So when we have the same base and we're multiplying, we're going to add our exponents. 3 plus 7 is 10. Now I have a quotient, so 5 to the 10th divided by 5 squared. We're going to subtract our exponents, and 10 minus 2 is 8. And I'm going to leave that that because it would be a very large number. And this is an easier, more compact way to write that answer. Your turn again. I would like you to simplify this expression. Go ahead and pause and come back when you're done. Welcome back. So once again, there are several ways that you could approach this. I'm first going to approach it by simplifying each quotient. So I have a cubed divided by a. And remember, there's an invisible one here. So that's a cubed all over a to the first, so 3 minus 1 gives me a squared. Over here, I have 9 minus 4, which is 5. And when I add 2 plus 5 using the power product property, I get a to the seventh. Now, you could have also simplified the numerators first and added, so you would had a to the twelfth over a to the fifth, and 12 minus 5 is 7. Thanks for joining me today to learn how to divide powers with the quotient of product property. And I hope you'll come back soon to learn about my one of my most favorite videos ever, Zero Exponents. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon and have a great day.